In the today's video, we will see the various engineering supports and the reactions offered by them. We will also see the practical examples of each support. So let's watch. Engineering Fundamentals by Yugandara Tarele from the manual Detailing for Steel Construction Appendix B. Retailer works closely with the structural engineer of record to translate design data into information that the fabricator and erector need to build the structure. Clear communication between the engineer and the steel detailer is extremely important to making this translation successful. Drawings are an important part of this communication as is a vocabulary that each party understands. This appendix will explain engineering vocabulary and will show how engineering fundamentals are reflected in many of the common details used in the fabrication of steel structure. structure. The principal components in a steel building frame are structural members and the connections that hold the members together. The role of the structural engineer is to determine the arrangement and size of these components to ensure the most safe, efficient and economical use of the materials in creating the structure. Supports the three common types of connections which join a built structure to its foundation are roller, pin, and fix. A fourth type not often found in building structures is known as a simple support. This is often idealized as a frictionless surface. All of these supports can be located anywhere along a structural element. They can be found at midpoint or at any other intermediate points. The type of support connection determines the type of load that support can resist. The support type also has a great effect on the load bearing capacity of each element and therefore the system. So this is a pin support. This is a roller support. This is a fixed or a built-in support. And this is a simple support. Types of supports with their practical examples. Pin support. They will allow the structural members to rotate but not to translate in any direction. Opening and closing of the door is an example of pin support. The knee can be idealized as a pin support as it allows rotation in one direction and provides restriction to lateral movement. Pin support. Pin support allow member to rotate. Pin support does not allow X translation. Therefore, reaction force is horizontal force acting away from the support. Pin support does not allow Y translation. Therefore, reaction force is vertical force acting away from the support. So, pin support will allow member to rotate but not to translate in any direction. A pin support can resist both horizontal and vertical forces but not movement. Therefore, reaction forces are horizontal and vertical forces acting away from the support. Roller supports. Roller supports are free to rotate and translate along the surface upon which the roller rests. The surface can be horizontal, vertical or slope at any angle. 
A roller support cannot provide resistance to lateral forces. Imagine a structure or a person on roller skates. It would remain in place as long as the structure must only support itself and perhaps a perfectly vertical load. As soon as a lateral load of any kind pushes on the structure, it will roll away in response to the force. The lateral load could be a shock, a gust of wind, or an earthquake. Since most structures are subjected to lateral loads, it follows that a building must have other types of supports in addition to roller support. Sliding door is an example of sliding support. Roller support allow rotation. This roller support allows translation in x direction. This roller support does not allow translation in y direction. For roller support, the resulting reaction force is always a single force that is perpendicular to and away from the surface. Roller supports are commonly located at one end of long bridges. This allows the bridge structure to expand and contract with temperature changes. The expansion forces could fracture the support at the banks if the bridge structure was locked in place. Roller supports can also take the form of rubber bearings, rockers or a set of gears which are designed to allow a limited amount of lateral movement. This roller support restricts translation in y direction but allows translation in x direction and allows to rotate. The roller can be vertical. It allows the member to rotate and to translate in y direction but not in x direction. The roller can also be inclined. It allows the member to rotate and to translate along its direction but not in vertical direction. Simple supports. Simple supports are idealized by some to be frictionless surface supports. For example, if a plank is laid across a gap to provide a bridge, it is assumed that plank will remain in its place. It will do so until a foot kicks it or moves it. At that moment, the plank will move because the simple connection cannot be developed any resistance to the lateral load. A simple support can be found as a type of support for long bridges or roof span. Simple supports are often found in zones of frequent seismic activity. Here, the chair, sofa, table, and side table are kept simply kept on the surface so it is a simple support it will be in that position unless acted upon by an external unbalanced force so this is the example of simple support simple support can allow to rotate simple support allows translation in x direction as it cannot resist lateral load in any direction. Simple support does not allow translation in y direction. So to summarize, simple support allows to rotate, it allows to translation in x direction or lateral translation but not in the vertical direction translation. For simple support, the resulting reaction is always a single force that is perpendicular to and away from the surface. However, are also similar to roller supports in this, but they are dissimilar in that a simple support cannot resist lateral loads of any magnitude. 
the built reality often depends upon gravity and friction to develop a minimum amount of frictional resistance to moderate lateral loading. Fixed support. Fixed support restrain both rotation and translation. They are also known as rigid supports. A pole set into a concrete is a good example of fixed support. Fixed support resists moment, horizontal translation and vertical translation since they restrain rotation and translation. Therefore, for a fixed support, there is a vertical and horizontal reaction and reactive moment since they restrain both rotation and translation. Thank you so much for being with me throughout this video. Happy learning! We will meet in the next video. For more such content, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon. Like the video and share it with your friends.